Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things. This is my card for Winter is Coming Wednesday number 12. I'm going to try really hard to get it posted on Wednesday, not before and not after, like the previous two weeks where things got a little busy for me. I have actually a second card I'm going to talk about. Uh, and this one is more of a, just a die cut exercise. There's no fancy techniques involved. I heat embossed white on vellum and then I die cut the other holly leaves using the die cut and the center piece that has the, the little veins in the leaves. I chose three different types of gold embellishments. The gold metallic balls, the little floral gold elements is from the poppy sequin set from last year, and then this gold sequin that doesn't have a hole in the middle is the bulk set of this year in the holiday catalog. I can't remember what it's called, but it comes with four different colors and you get bulk sequins to use in shaker cards. And with the round gold wreath shape, I just wrapped the wreath twice and then made it extra long so I could tie the bow. And then I actually already had the Merry Christmas on and I painstakingly stuffed the wreath underneath. I highly recommend that you already have your wreath shape done and put it on before. And then I just used the bricks background, thinking of in the holiday season, you will maybe hang a swag of holly or pine leaf, or branches, not leaves, uh, in a wreath shape or a swag shape. I did not use anything behind this to make my shape. You could use a strip of paper and make your shape off of the card base. Another trick if you're doing a wreath shape with small items is to cut a circle the size of your wreath and use that as a guide. Don't attach your items to it. You stick them to each other. You could even add, make a, a ring if you wanted using two different sizes of dies, circle dies. Uh, to add as to make it a base and if they're big enough you can stick it actually on the base itself and that is pretty much it now on the inside you'll see I have holly these are stamped with gold though you could pick a really close color to gold instead if you didn't have any this is the gold is from last year's holiday catalog it is actually quite dry. I was at my mom's and I didn't have my re-inkers with me, so this came out quite soft, which is actually nice, and, and I didn't want it to be too bright. Anyways, so it worked out well. You could use honeybee, crushed curry. Those two colors would make a nice goldish looking uh, stamped inside. And then I also did the same thing on the envelope. I just did two soft gold hollies. So that's the first card. The second card actually has been posted. I did it a long time ago, earlier in the summer, I think, but I, I want to talk about it and I'll repost it here because of the technique that I used. We were doing white and I didn't have any white. My white had dried out and I had no re-inker. So what I used is a non Stampin' Up! product that I just really think is easy to use on cardstock. It is their chalk pencils. So these are white chalk pencils giving all of the accents and you know I used the white chalk little dots close to the darkest. If you make it close to the darkest color you get the best contrast. So this will be one of my Thanksgiving cards that I will use and the white, I really like the faceted white dots with this. Now my mom's um, take on this was she wanted to see more color. She would have liked to have seen something gold, but my goal with this card was to just have it be monochromatic only with a little bit of the white, and that's why I did the white. 
vertical strip on the side. So this is a technique to consider the chalk markers you could probably pick up anywhere. I got like General's chalk markers. That's what Libby had and they were very inexpensive. And I do hope that at some point Stampin' Up! will choose to carry chalk markers even over the colored pencils. I like the just the ease with which the chalk goes onto these cardstocks, the colored cardstocks. That's all I got. Leave your comments, questions, and suggestions in the YouTube comments or on my blog where I will have all of my products that I used. All the supplies will be posted there. Love to hear from you guys and I'm doing really well. I think very soon here, this is the end of the month, so maybe the start of October I will uh, do a Winter is Coming Wednesday where I just go over and reveal all of the cards that I have made over the last 12 weeks and see where we're at for the count and how many more I have to make. So we'll see you next week and thanks for watching. All of the products you've seen demonstrated today from Stampin' Up! are available on my store at stuffandthings.com shop, which redirects you to Stampin' Up! I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I can sell to folks in the U.S. only. Before you go, please like this video, leave your comments, questions, and suggestions, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more card-making tutorials.